Hi there, I'm Laura Busby. I'm Commercial Director at Good Travel Management. So I look after our sales and account management teams and have a real passion for customer safety. Today I'm going to be talking about safety tips for women traveling in business. It's crucial that we really focus on traveler safety for women in today's world. More women are traveling than ever before. And in a recent global survey, 71% of female respondents indicated that they thought it was less safe to travel as a woman than it is as a man. It's very important to understand the cultural norms and legal aspects of where you're traveling to on business. For a few reasons, really, it will affect the way that you might dress and um, the way that sexual assault cases are handled in countries can vary greatly. So it really is important to understand that all travelers have different needs. So quite often we see with our customers that they have one travel policy for everyone. And in a world where we need to really think about and embrace diversity, equity and inclusion, we need to understand that different travelers will have different kinds of needs when they're traveling for business and depending on which countries they're going to, which will create different challenges depending on, on you and, 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 your, and your unique self. And I think it's it's about getting the balance right of of, of trying to trying to respect local culture and traditions, uh, whilst also not letting it overwhelm you or scare you. And women are treated differently in different parts of the world, so we've got to be prepared for it, and we've got to listen to our, our women travellers more, and under, and build out plans and policies and programmes for them to understand that their experience might be quite different to their male counterparts, even if they're traveling with the same suppliers, going to the same locations. So exciting that women have more of a stand in the workplace, but comes with caution of, we need to really think about this and plan out for, for some, of, some of the awful things that we see happening in the world right now. The key steps you should follow um, when planning a business trip for every woman is just to think about the pre-trip, um, the, pre the on-trip, and the post-trip steps that you should take to make sure that you're preparing yourself as much as possible. First step is understand the destination of where you're going to and what the local um, the local laws and the local culture um, is about within with, with, with where you're going. A good place to really start and have a look at that is the UN Gender Inequality Index. You can that that can that gives every country in the world um, a standing of where they are in terms of gender gender inequality. So that's a really great place to start to and, and really research the, the destination which you're going to. Then on trip, you really want to be thinking about what time do you land, what's the ground transportation like of where you're going, what's safe. How, really do some research. Ask other travellers within your business. Um, go on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a really great resource for building. Um, networks and communities for business travellers um, and there's some great organisations that, that, that really drive the agenda and offer some great advice in that space. Post trip, give feedback, give feedback to your organisation or your, tra your travel management company, tell them how it was, tell them what could have been better, tell them what you've learned um, because I think that's probably the, the most important piece is that this continual learning in this space. And I think too often women have a negative experience and don't share that, as well as a positive experience and should also share that. Precautions and considerations to take into account when you're traveling for business from kind of when you leave your home to when you arrive in your hotel, include things like uh, understanding ground transportation, what's safe to take, what isn't. Um, also making sure that you've got your location turned on on your phone. So if, if anything did happen, someone can track and know where you are. Also set your iPhone so that you can dial um, the local, you know, 999 in that country without having to unlock your phone. Hotels are a really interesting one and there's some really simple key things that you can do to keep yourself safe. Firstly, when you check in, if the, pers if the person behind the hotel check-in desk shouts out the room number that you are in, you are quite within your rights to ask them to be moved to a different room because you don't know who's overheard what room number you're in simple. Second one, ask for a room that's not on the ground floor. Another quick safety tip, see if there's rooms with double locking doors. I know a lot of females that will, will take door wedges with them, so they can put a door wedge in, in, in their room. Also make sure that your hotel room um, doesn't lead out, out straight into to an open outside space. So there's some really key things that, that you can do. So when you, when you get to your hotel room, inspect the door locks, check that they work okay, check the bathroom locks okay, check that that it doesn't look like there's any hidden cameras. We, there's, there's stories of, hidden, of, of cam, hidden cameras being placed in hotel rooms. Also check that the phone line works. So these really simple things that 
I do just as a matter of matter of precaution but without dwelling on it and 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 getting myself too panicked or worried about it it's just become the normal way that I that I travel and the precautions I take when I'm on business if you're in a room that doesn't feel quite right to you you're on the ground floor you're by a lift that you lead to an outside space don't be frightened to go and ask to be moved I think that's perfectly okay the companies play a play a vital role in ensuring the safety of their women travelers whilst whilst on business trips um, it starts from the beginning in, in creating a travel policy that is super inclusive and, is, and everyone has been thought about. And when we, if we're talking about women, women aren't one thing. So you could have women that are pregnant, you could have women that are menopausal, you could have a woman that is her first ever business trip fresh out of university. Um, you could have a really well seasoned female traveler who potentially has done it so many times, then maybe don't take the right amount of caution that they maybe should. So it's understanding that women aren't all one thing and really engaging with your female community to understand what's important to them, what are their apprehensions, what, do, what makes a great experience for them and capturing that real live data from them, pre-trip, on-trip, post-trip. I think that's, that for me is, is, is what a great corporate would do. Some simple things that corporates could do to better support women. For example, if you have women travelling for business who are menopausal, putting them in rooms where there's some air conditioning to keep them nice and cool and try and give them a good night's sleep, um, I think that that would be a really quick win. The most important pieces of advice I give to any woman travelling on business is do your research, um, build your network. The, you know, there's, there's people just like you travelling. Um, I've got a whole community of women who are my peers who are just like me and we share great examples, things that have gone a bit wrong. Um, and so I think that's that's really important to, to build your network. Um, be open and vocal and transparent about what's, what works well, what you really need and when things have gone a bit wrong. So so share that, share that stuff um, and always have a worst case scenario plan in, in your mind. So all the tips around what to do for a hotel room that's not to frighten anyone, that's just to go, if you're prepared and you've got a worst case scenario plan, it will just make you feel feel a bit more at ease, especially if you go into countries where maybe the, the culture and the laws are a little different. I think the future of business travel for women is both exciting and challenging. So there will be more women traveling for business as we see more women on boards and senior leadership teams, more women entering the STEM sector, more women entering the construction industries, all of these big industries that travel quite extensively, there'll be more women in them.